Oh, I do love a stiff stiffy. Yes. We've been invited to Lady Bird's dance. Do we know them? It's the same night as Davina and Henry's do, and I've already accepted their invitation. But Cecily says they're having a fun fair and fire eaters and all manner of excitements. One does not pull out if one gets a better offer. I can't believe that Jessica should invent such a flimsy excuse to cancel the Viscountess Dulali's invitation, then have the nerve to turn up with Maddox's box of frogs at Philippotta Fitznugley's party. She couldn't very well compete in the point to point after Nigella lost control of her croquet mallet and knocked her out. Tell me, did you enjoy last night? It's just that I noticed you were seated next to Hubert Fruiting Bush again. Maybe. Possibly. Well, you could do worse. At least they didn't make their money in trade. His mother is related to Bertie, your father's second cousin, on his father's side. And of course he's a dear friend of Arabella Country Life, whose father was ambassador to Florence. Frederick Bottomley Tuckett was taking the grand tour when their eyes locked as they stood before Michelangelo's David. It was a very successful marriage. I did the season with her sister. I hear he was at Eton with Rupert and Rollo. Do you remember? He's heir to Crashing Bourne Castle. Ariadne says he's a frightfully nice boy with a very good seat. And they own All Manor Park, of course. So? Skull said you were home well after midnight. I do hope that Hubert's intentions are sincere. Oh, Mother, you must stop worrying so. A whole group of us went to Roxanne, and then we all bopped down to Tokyo Joe. It was such a hoot. James and Sylvia were teaching us all how to Ciroc. Oh, we don't want you getting one of those reputations. I got a lift home with Yacinda. You know Yacinda. She's the one who got into university. She's so good with a pen. But you do know that Hubert has asked for a meeting with your father. <gasps> oh, what fresh potted hell is this? <laughs>